have a series of really interesting, inspiring people who all have come to share with you their view on the world. Uh, we've got an actor, inventor, and a 15-year-old child. So, <laughs> we really hope you're very welcome. And without further ado, I'll welcome your first speaker. Um, you'll know him from the stage and screen. Please welcome Sir Archibald Richards. <laughs> Sir Archibald Richards, actor, writer, director, producer, lover <laughs> of art. <laughs> and I'm very happy to be here today to talk to you about my new motion picture. It's been getting a great response. Critics have overwhelmingly called it a film. <laughs> and it's on track to make at least 60 pounds at the box office. So eat your heart out, Endgame. <laughs> oh, how did I get here? Well, I took a bus and a train. <laughs> interested in acting ever since I was young, and I actually started in musical theatre. I was in Oklahoma, that's where we did Cats. <laughs> that was a great production. I didn't agree with the script. I didn't, I didn't think when uh, the cat said memories that a cat would actually say that. I, I said to the director, I think it would probably say meow. <laughs> he did this and we got two stars. So, <laughs> That chat with the director really brought me on to my first film I made. Because uh, he was in really into Shakespeare or The Bar to his friends. And so I did <laughs> my first film, which was in fact a Shakespeare. Uh, it was Hamlet, uh, an adaptation of Hamlet. Now, uh, just to correct this, if you haven't seen the film before, why? And also, I didn't know where to buy a camera. But I had my nephew Terence's laptop and microphone, uh, like headphone thing, so I filmed it on that. There were no other actors, but I had great range. So, <laughs> um, so without further ado, this is my first ever film, Hamlet. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> what does this mean, my lord? <laughs> the king that wake the night and takes the bar, keep the sail and the swagger <laughs> out to bring wheel. And as he raises the star of greyish down, the kettle drum and trumpet trial <laughs> of his pledge. <laughs> Mary is, but to my mind, I am native here and to the manor born. It is custom more honoured in the world than we observe. Look, my. <laughs> Go with it uh, as if some impartment to desire to you alone. <laughs> if it will not speak, then I will follow it. Lead on, ghost. <laughs> Something is better than the state of Denmark. <laughs> speak. Right, well, we'll make this up now. You earn that, nine. You earn that. If anyone knows, Suzanne will earn that. <laughs> Suzanne and I are now divorced. <laughs> uh, also important to note, that is the whole film. Um, so it turns out Hamlet's very long and I didn't have enough storage space on the laptop. <laughs> um, but it was from this, of course, that I ended up getting BFI funding to make my next few films. Uh, political thrillers such as Maggie Thatcher, Milk Snatcher. <laughs> Battle the environment and wilderness, and uh, 
really get to grips with it. So uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy Archibald Richard's Survivor Man. My <laughs> punch up. Come on. <laughs> 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 Are any of us really <laughs> This kingdom we call United. See, so I can survive a night in one of these dangerous hot spots um, that I've heard so much about. Uh, really on my own, gonna get to grips with the environment. So, why not join me? Yeah, stick over there, probably used up for fire later. Uh, yeah, get stick, get stick. <laughs> This is exactly the sort of thing fire comes from. <laughs> uh, so this bench, I think I'm going to try maybe make this my nest for the evening. This is a better, better hotel. Right, well, actually one of the really important things to do when you're out here is uh, get yourself some dinner. And it's just... It's a little snack flight. So, you got to be careful. I'll come back. Oh, I didn't get dinner. Um, I'm disappointed, obviously. That's just the whole point. You can't survive it. Yeah, this is Axel Roll. Just make your own projects if you're listening to it. Okay. Just make your own projects. Yeah, it's a bit cold. Okay. Um, here we go, starting the night. It's, uh, it's pretty cold. Yeah, it's uh, very, uh, very, very cold. Um, yeah, very cold. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? It's freezing. Can I get a room for the night? Yeah, of course. The only rooms we've got left are fifty-five pounds. <laughs> I did it. It's <laughs> four, four a.m. Four. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Because the only reason I went there was to find out how much it was. I was never, obviously, going to say that. Um, <laughs> Matthew. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> thank you very much. That's my film. This will be me. Uh, I'll be in the foyer afterwards, so if anyone wants to come up and talk, don't. Thank you very much! <laughs> Your next speaker, he's on stage, German inventor Hans Christian Andersen. <laughs> So, what is this? <laughs> this, this was my first ever invention. Yeah, I made it when I was five years old. Yeah, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> but five years old. <laughs> yeah. So now, what sort of inventions do I make? <laughs> well, <laughs> this is the first one. This is a belt. Yeah, but it's a belt which pulls your trousers down <laughs> if you need to get your trousers off in a jiffy. So it's perfect for the bedroom. <laughs> it's perfect for the bathroom. <laughs> Even the beach. <laughs> I was going to wear it today, but I forgot to wear undervest on my boat. <laughs> but the 
the other invention I made, which I'll show you quickly, are these. <laughs> they, are, they are day vision goggles. Yeah. <laughs> so what they do is they make it like night time, but at daytime. So this is a live feed of what I see now. <laughs> so one, of, one of the things um, I want to talk about is uh, I actually did a really cool photo shoot with Vogue for this. Um, so this is me just trying out some few poses. It's pretty fun. Uh, and actually, one of the things you realise is when you pose as much as I do, like you just really get into character a bit, and you feel like really at home in the environment. You're making the same. You know, I like to do loads of different little poses. I feel like I mean, like that's a little bit something. I'm really excited. And it's this one. That's my favourite. Like James Bond. Yeah. Yes, there I am. Uh, <laughs> soon that's finished because I can't see a thing. Uh, <laughs> but the other thing that these glasses do, just before I go, because I have to go back to Berlin, is that they, they actually are teleportation devices. Yes, as they are. So uh, there it is. that's where I'm going, Berlin. And let's try this. Shall we try to teleport to Berlin? Thank you all so much. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> But um, please uh, welcome, he's a 15 year old child, uh, uh, so please give him, from a high school in America, please give him a warm welcome to Joey Marsden! <laughs> Um, I did not pee myself at the prom. Kevin Bone just spilt juice on me. <laughs> and secondly, our climate's really important. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what's kind of cool is I'm, I'm like in a band. Uh, I'm in a band, it's called No Homework, and it's with my friends Tony C, AJ, Michael, who's my best friend, Shannon, who I don't even fancy, and Professor Me and Stonebrook. And we've been together for a while now. Uh, uh, Michael's on drums, uh, Tony C is on piano, AJ's on trumpet, Shannon's on guitar, she's really good at it, but that's not even a big deal. I sing, and Professor Ian Stonebrook's on pan flutes. Uh, <laughs> going together for a while now, but none of them could be here tonight. They all do have good excuses. Uh, so uh, AJ is, uh, I think AJ, yeah, AJ's got an assignment to do. This fair, Mr. Which is me. Tommy C is grounded. Ugh. Uh, <laughs> Michael just didn't want to come. Uh, Shannon didn't think it would be a good idea for us two to hang out together. And <laughs> Professor Ian Stonebrook stuck in Siberia. But well, uh, I thought we'd do. Instead, to play one of our songs, is I thought I'd, I'd Skype them all in. So let's see how this works. Okay. One, two. Yes. Okay. Oh, oh, Thanks, <laughs> Sharon. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> when are the others joining? Soon, but like, it's not even a big deal. We can just hang out for a bit. Like, it's fine. <laughs> okay. I might just go make myself a glass of Kool-Aid. Oh, no, yeah, I'll make myself some Kool-Aid too, probably. Now, I'm here on stage. I can't find a kid. <laughs> oh, I don't even fancy Kool-Aid. I can make Kool-Aid if I want. It's not a big deal. Oh, hey, AJ. Hey, Joey. What's cracking? It's <laughs> like <laughs> Nothing much. What's cracking with you? Now, I mean, this assignment is pretty mega lame. Uh, yeah, school sucks. Uh. <laughs> You're damn right. <laughs> hey, is it true about you peeing yourself at the school farm? No! Kevin Bone just spread this nasty, vicious rumor about me. I pee in the urine. Hi, guys. What's the game? <laughs> now then, Marge was speaking with you. No, I'm just like, mum's the worst. Yeah, I completely get you, man. That's yeah, like, she doesn't even let me watch Pirates of the Caribbean on Fox movies. What the hell? That's awful, man. She could go to jail for human rights and yeah, stuff. Yeah, what the hell? Uh, is, is it true about you peeing yourself? I'm uh, no. uh, Oh my god, Kevin, but I've used the urinal all my life. It's 
fine. Hey guys. Oh, hey Shaman. <laughs> Hello, Jack! Professor Reader's Bomber! Professor Reader's Bomber! I'm not too bad, boy. Still fighting the good fight against these bastard Russians. Professor Reader's Bomber, the call will be on for years. Maybe for you, chaps, but not for me. By the way, is it true about you peeing yourself in the call? Professor Reader's Bomber. Well, I thought maybe you would try one of our songs now. Uh, we're going to play for you, Give Us Back America, from the children. You guys, are you ready? Cool. Yeah, the zombie. Oh, me, Zlap. Da. Professor Lee Is that a yes? Yes. <laughs> okay, right. Well, let's get ready. AJ, if you want to count us in. A one, a two, a one, two. <laughs> oh, we're still, we're still going. <laughs> stop firing guns, stop firing love. America's an eagle, it isn't a duck. We can make the bus, we can go to the next club, we can go to the club. Give us back America. Give it back to us. Joey? 